Sri Lanka's most powerful news brand. News First Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And top of the morning to you. This is Newsline, live as always from the News First studios in Dawson Street in jolly good Colombo. And uh, we broadcast on TV One, of course, which is part of the Capital Maharaja Group. Now then, as I said yesterday, it's election fever. But today, the, the, the remnants of the bond fever are coming into play again. Uh, because I believe today the bond report will be available on the internet. Jolly good show. What? Now then, to discuss all these, and especially the legal issues surrounding the current timings, um, with all that's happening, is that uh, absolutely inimitable legal personality, the young and the ever cheerful Krishma Warasuriya. Very good morning to you. Good morning, uh, Faraz. It's nice to be here again. I was going to say the... the Best not to. Best not to. <laughs> but it's, uh, apparently they need slight changing. I Mr. Jayasekhar Bandula uh, has pointed out that it is yep. not, uh, not uh, Jaguar driving, but it is Maserati driving now. <laughs> So that's what Bandula says. That's what he says. Right. Now then, Krishma, let's get to matters a touch more serious than that. What's happening in this, this election period now? This is like election fever. Um, and it's a, bit, it's a strange situation, isn't it? We had uh, people, uh, public interest activists and so on, who were shouting their heads off in 2014 and so on. Uh, that it was time to have elections, time to test the, uh, uh, the, the presidency out and so on, because um, there was growing concern about uh, all sorts of uh, uh, increases in nepotism, in family power and uh, corruption and so on. And so lo and behold, it was all changed and there was this group of people, 47 of them together, uh, he was part of that, and uh, they all came together and said, "No, nope, won't do. Need a change." So the people obtained change. Now those very people who supported that move spent the last two and a half years and a bit shouting their heads off, saying, "Hello, have the elections. It's very undemocratic." And in spite of the several assurances by. Uh, the hapless minister of local government. Um, our dear friend. Our dear friend, uh, who came here and kept saying, oh, definitely this and definitely that. Finally, 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 it's happening. With a very important component, that 25% uh, requirement of female participation, which is a jolly good thing. But in all this, there's the law on the side there. The law is shaping, hopefully shaping, this quest to have a better candidate. Because under this new system, it's a ward system, so you don't have to be traipsing around the district. You concentrate on your ward, and so the voter has that much, it's much more narrowed down now. All seems to be good things, but how does the law stand in all this? Yeah. Um, firstly, uh, uh, thank you, uh, Faraz, for inviting me again and uh, I know it's a bit late but to all our regular viewers uh, very happy 2018 mm. um, and then uh, on that note uh, for us at the end of each year you, you must also be getting it and the beginning of a new year I write a small snippet my take on the year gone by and the year ahead and obviously this year what was published covered the election uh, I have uh, three very quick uh, if you like a prognosis of what's going to happen Mm. Um, because of the very reasons that you said, there, there seems to be a general apathy uh, on particularly the 2015 January 8 movement, people who got around to making a change. Yeah. Um, so so um, I, I foresee, number one, uh, lots of people feel that they, there is no change that they can really do because lots of their hopes have been shattered and they have lost faith in the political uh, politicking, if you like. Uh, thinking that a party will save all of us, a party will serve our purposes mm -hmm. that they've lost. Therefore, that reason may not uh, permit 
a lot of the people who came to vote in 2000 January yeah. to actually go to the polls. Because the voter turnout was pretty high then. High. At traditionally, local authority elections, people don't think, really think it's going to matter. But this time, I foresee it, going, it, it may be even a bit more lower than that. Number two, very quickly, uh, people, because of the disgruntlement in the parties, uh, I mean, in effect, I, I addressed this, uh, we can come to it later. Uh, because whether it's red, green or blue, mm. people I think have now come to a realization that ultimately whoever these parties are, now some say we have been in power uh, but we want to change, some say we haven't been in power, give us the village to see. Whichever way it is, people have realized yeah. that they serve the party first. The party hierarchy, the party's interest, protecting the party people or what can the party get out of it comes first. Now, People have, I think, gone, as, as, as we've been discussing sometime before, like Macron and France, and to an apolitical system where people are going to look at individuals. Mm -hmm. People, I don't think this time will, I, in fact, I encourage people not to think of red, blue or green because, number one, this is going to be your local uh, authority election as to who you can approach to get something done. And therefore, you don't need to go behind the party, man. You got a real good chance this time of showing your parties. We are not interested in party politics anymore. Actually, we are, we are interested. Can I just yes. finish? We are we are interested in the person yeah. and the person that we know. Whoever party, even independent man, who will come, who you can approach, you can go home and have a cup of tea and talk a problem. Send that person in. Show these parties that we don't care for party politics anymore because you all have split us enough. You all get us to fight each other and you all are top friends at the top having parties with each other. Forget parties, forget your, your, your traditional party, think out of it, think of the person, wherever they come from, even if it's independent, go and vote for that person. Yes, uh, the, the, there seems to be a move away from this, you know, uh, traditionally people have voted uh, as their parents did. And, and the grandfather did that. Grandfathers and all that. Yeah, so and things are changing. Isn't but it? the youth are moving away from it for yeah. us. I and know I know my children they, they, will never do that. They're all empowered with this, aren't they? Absolutely. And then they have information. And, you have, yeah. and, 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 and uh, as I said, the, the, the few words I wrote, I, 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 can I just raise four very quick questions? Yeah. Now, there have been parties in, in governance and others have been in opposition. Yeah. Right? Even the so-called the, the, the socialist or red fractions, yeah. they have been parts of coalition governments on and off. Yeah. But to date, can you tell me, is there a minimum wage that is assured to anyone who works in this country, private or public? A minimum wage. Per hour, this is what you get. You can't pay less than that. Right. Is there a minimum wage? No. Is there, uh, is there an education system where some of us who are privileged enough because we were born in Colombo or because our parents could afford it were sent for private education. Right. At the same time, there are children, poor children out there. Yesterday I saw on the news, the roof uh, b b bearing down on them. The girls and boys that share one single toilet, some don't even have a proper toilet and water. And did you watch that clip where, yeah. they, where this classroom was all made yeah. out of uh, plastic? That's sheets. right. So, 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 number two, education. Have you been entitled, have your child or children across the country been entitled to a proper system of education, right? Health service. Why is it the same doctor that uh, shouts and chases you off and sometimes without a bed puts you on the floor in general hospital uh, from 8 to 4, treat you with a nice cup of tea and a smile at 5 o'clock when you go and pay for them at a private hospital? Same doctor, same patient, same sickness. Why is the difference? Number four, transport. Why are only now some people are saying, no, for us, after this so-called good governance came in, that they were not going to go in entourages, chasing everyone else off the road. Mm. Why do you think that some, some, uh, some politician who possibly has much less things to do than you, deserves to go with the entourage vehicles, shouting all of us, screaming all of us off the traffic? Mm. Whilst you and I have to get stuck in traffic for, for two, two and a half hours, say, poor man coming to work uh, in a bus. On from, flyovers that hardly uh, work. On flyovers that hardly work. So, you think whether your political party, the green, red or blue that have been a coalition or in governance or whoever, no, you, that you, can I just yes. finish up, that you have voted for, have they delivered? That's all you have to ask. You being part of a political party and running behind them for their rallies and going and uh, showing them how big they are hmm. and lifting their egos at a platform, have they served you? Now, if I'm, not, I'm, you don't need to go behind the political parties anymore. Now, you live sort of day village, don't you? Uh, Palm Ankadish. Yes. So do you, On weekdays, we can right. go back. Do you uh, do you have reason to use the uh, flyover on Dehwala? Uh, the Dehwala one or the, the, the Dehwala? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Well, it's a bottling. Yes, so that, well, that's my point. I'm yeah. Because I live a little bit on the other side as yeah. well. Yeah. And I have not noticed the traffic in the morning. You have just shifted the block from one point yes. A to point B. You just shifted the traffic back up towards Hotel Road. Now. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so, so that's just one example. That's, that's just only a tiny example. Yeah, but tiny example. But what I'm trying to say is, the, the policy makers that, that you appear to have been sending at whatever level of governance, yeah. whether it's state level, at provincial council level, or at local authority level, have not been delivering. Hmm. Now, if that has not been delivering, why? Because our country has been split among green, blue, and red party politics. Even if our fellows don't, the old singer say, Ape gona api to honda. Mm. And I'm saying, don't, don't worry about Ape Gona. Mm. Find a non Gona from a party that your grandfathers have not been voting for, but a person that you can like, get away from party politics. That's the bane of our system. Well, there you are. Uh, 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 big mouthful there. Um, <laughs> early morning. Early morning. Yeah. Now then, today, of course, is the day, Krishna, when the Bondgate report is out. Yeah. I'm sure everybody's saving their data yeah. and waiting for somewhere for us to come, you know, perhaps a news first alert say, yeah. bond report out on the internet, www.where So and is. so named and shamed. Yes, uh -huh. but everybody will be going like that and I, I predict there'll be uh, all our data signals, I predict, are going to be uh, kind of jammed for a bit. Yeah. Now then, a very interesting point. One of my researchers has pointed this out. Mm. God bless her. Mm. This bond report, this commission was asked, was given a term, right? From 2015 to the 31st of March 2016. Mm. That is the date that this commission is looking up to. But I want to point out that Arjuna Mahendran the governor, then governor, actually he finished office on the 30th of June 2016. Mm. So that's 31st of March, mm. that's when the, the period of the commission. Yeah. April, May, June, three clear months beyond the remit of the commission. Mm. Now then, here's a little thing. Now they've told us about the profits and whirlwind profits and so on that perpetual treasuries made and so on, okay? And the losses yeah, yeah, of the EPA. Yeah. However, what isn't said is that in that three months, that means from April, May, June 2016, the same company made profits of six billion rupees. Yeah. Six billion rupees, which is obviously not going to be looked at. Yeah. So I just like to point out. So a quick answer to that for yes. us, just the bond commission report may uh, incorporate that time period within which they investigate and they give a report. Mm. But the investigations that, that subsequently or the, the prosecutions that subsequently come up don't need to be limited to the bond commission report. Right. Because uh, the, the law in this country is not based upon the bond commission report. Bond commission report was something that the section the president wanted investigated yeah. under the commission's inquiry act. But the, 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 now, if, 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 if during the Bond Commission report some irregularity has been uh, pointed out, that can also be prosecuted by the, uh, the CID or the FCID or the Attorney General if they want to file indictments. But that is not limited to what the Bond Commission report says. Sri Lankan law goes beyond the Bond Commission report. Hmm. If under Sri Lankan law some violation has taken place either by unjust enrichment or, or money fraud or money laundering or, or trying to defraud uh, public money, hmm. all of that can be investigated under the general law of the country. You don't need, the but you don't need a commission that. report to do that. Hmm. That's why you were saying you know, even during the commission uh, while it's still going on. With the evidence that was coming up, uh, you could have prosecuted. So I don't think yeah. you need to worry about... Not, not uh, to worry too much. Not to worry too much. But, 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 but yeah, uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, a valid point academically, mm. uh, but I don't think that will restrict the prosecution authorities from doing their job. I hope it doesn't. Uh, but but uh, incidentally, because of this bond commission or the His Excellency's move to bring this out and even talk of the report coming out, mm. my, my point to your viewer is, did you not notice the behavior of your uh, of your so-called uh, uh, lawmakers in that august house mm. now you must realize jumping at each other breaking each other's noses teeth uh, some uh, jumping like that the old chakudu that we used to play yeah. when you were small mm. jumping trying to touch going is this what you want what you pay millions every day and elect people to go and make laws for you. Is, is this the sort of uh, clan that you want? And, and, and uh, Are you struggling to, 
to say the word disgraceful conduct. Well, I, I would, if it came to me, I would say it is absolutely disgraceful, particularly disgraceful when the Honorable Prime Minister of the House, the primus inter pares, yeah. as I said, the, the first amongst equals, yeah. is leading a riot in that house. Is this what we pay these people for? You need to now once again go back to okay, am I going to, whatever it is, I'm going to protect my party. I am a green, no, my grandfather was green, no, or I am blue, no, or we were red, no, red South, red, so we are going to protect our party whichever way they behave. I don't, I don't think you should be doing that. We no. should now be looking at moving away from party politics, sending some people there who yeah. will actually make law for you, not yeah. uh, be fighting in the middle of the house. You understand? This is absolutely disgraceful. Absolutely order. disgraceful. Completely shame, shame. And we shame. pay millions on the, on the yeah, upliftment of this house. 4.8 million a day. And also, the, 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 someone is floating around a picture on Facebook of a uh, so called uh, a comrade traveling in business class. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, I mean, these, these fellows actually get free business but, class travel. Yes, but, but I thought, uh, Krishna, to yeah. myself, when I saw that image yeah. um, of this comrade on there, yeah. right? I thought to myself, well, I'm sure if we ask him, I was tempted to contact mm. them. And I thought, what's the point? Because they just say no, that no, it wasn't paid by them. Yeah, exactly. That's not, you're paying for it. The taxpayer is paying for that business class travel for all parliamentarians, their breakfast, their lunch, the Prado intercoolers or whatever that they travel around in, whisking us off all the road. Apparently, they have a bit more important things to do than you and I. So but we then, have to start in but Yes. Now, yeah. now then. Yeah, can I just uh, keep yeah. it finished? Yes, yes. So, all of this is funded by you. Millions funded by you for the, including the electricity bill and for the wife or wife to go shopping also with the driver is funded by you, if they are a minister. Now, are you getting your money's worth for it? Now, a regular viewer yeah. named Peggy yeah. has sent me a couple of messages already. Yeah. I can't, I don't think I can read the first one out because it will uh, yeah. break the election rules, okay? Yeah. But the second one is even more potent. Yeah. It says, let's get the rogues arrested mm. and deal with the nitty gritty later. Yeah. Don't you think that's a sound idea? Yeah, sound idea. Get, let's Isn't get it? the rogues away, but we've been saying that for a long time. Yes, but now, uh, whilst you were saying all this, you know, about uh, yeah. the business class of this uh, Marxist uh, comrade, right? Not uh, just him. Not no, no, just not him. just him. But Everyone that, that, travels that, on business class at yours and my expense. Exactly. And um, that will bring us nicely to Sri Lankan Islands in a second. But I just wanted to say that we mustn't forget that yesterday we had reports I think we carried it on the news, actually, um, of, of some abuse of system mm. by the former president. Mm. Uh, and, uh, and all of these speakers and so on got confiscated. The police came and took mm. them away because they'd broken some law. Mm. It, this, is, this seems to be all lawlessness carrying on, and everybody's just doing it and hoping for the best. Hang on, well, lawlessness is only for those with political office. Yes. That's what the common man is trying to say. The, yeah. the, 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 talking on the law, let's just quickly touch on the judiciary also. We yeah. not fair, no? yeah. I touched on the doctors and hospital judiciary also. Why is it that your case and, and someone else's has to drag on for three years, five uh, years or ten good years? Good point. When there is a politically sensitive case yeah. that has to be taken in quickly in two days and finished off. Correct. Or, or a case of say some, some political uh, family member of a political family who is due to be arrested or something that is taken off. Yeah. Up on a list where your other cases are refixed and refixed. No, you're and a lawyer. No, I'm a lawyer. Yes. Can, can I just finish yeah. my argument? Yes. What I'm trying to say is not just the legislative power that you vested in, in the parliament, even your judicial power that you vested in the judicial system, your executive power that you're vesting in a president and a cabinet, these have to be questioned by you. Are they serving me? Or is it serving some selected class of people who dry kill each other to get into some political office to get that? That's what you need to be questioning. No, you're, you're, you're a lawyer. I just want to ask the procedure. Do you have to pay more to some court or whatever? Absolutely not. To, to get absolutely, your matter heard? Absolutely not. This is what we've been crying out for even within us. We must be self-critics also no, for us. Yeah. Just as much as I criticize a doctor or in fact recently at a party, I fell into a feud with a good old uh, but doctor. But then you're cutting your own self No, up. no, that doesn't matter. In other countries, there is a list, no, I, we've been shouting hoes, saying, look, let's have some time management, yeah. case management system, yeah. where, where the time slots are allocated to different cases, yeah. right? And then a case, pre-case pre, pre -case management conferences, we do this in other countries, so that all of us know how much time is going to be spent on a case. Then allocation of fast-track cases, allocation of regular cases, and that slot is not moved by the judge. You know, simple things, cut down red tape, rules of procedure, make the little 
difficult, the most important man in the system. These things can be done for us if they want. We can give them enough examples from overseas. Mm, mm. The, the will, the will of a, of a proper minister of justice to come and do this mm. is what is required. Or the will to do it is what is required. And then to do that, you need to get the right people where the legislation is made. Now then, I, I'm going, in the interest of transparency, I'm going to read out this question. Yeah. It is from a viewer who uh, is apparently regular because the number is torn here. Uh, just only as a number. Uh, it says here, Faraz, please confirm your stand on the money robbed by MR regime, including his family. Also to be given a publicity that you do for the bond issue. Well, my stand is very simple. It is non-partisan. It is pro the people and if it's corruption, corruption has no colors, red, blue, green, I don't know, yellow, whatever it is. If it's wrong, it will be exposed, and that's our stand. And before we make any claims, we make sure that the information available to us will stand up to scrutiny, and it will be fully supported in a court of law. That's the ethos here. No story comes in without being verified, and when there are contentious issues, we have a panel of legal experts, including Mr. Warren uh, Surya, who we, we ask. Uh, and so that's, that's our stand. That's my stand as well. So there you go. I thought I'd better mention that in case you think I'm, you know, hiding some questions. Yeah. Right? And then it says here, uh, um, Prime Minister says nothing is lost, as more than 11 billion is still held by the central bank. What do you say about that? A simple answer, just because a robber robs and then brings back the money and gives a robbery doesn't go out. The criminal law of this country is very clear. And the Honourable Prime Minister, who also claims to be a lawyer, I don't know whether he ever came to court, but being a lawyer should know the basic law. But the yeah. Once a crime is committed, you can't say, well, okay, I'll pay back the crime, therefore please take me off. That, that, that the crime is still there, the crime deserves punishment. If, if we have we live in a system where there's a legal system, a law is there, if a law is broken, if it's a civil remedy, which is a payment of damages or, or compensation, if it's a criminal uh, offence, you have to serve your time, uh, as the judge says. So that's very simple. I don't think we need to de de elaborate that. Elaborate point. too much. Yeah. But, but uh, right. can, can, since he spoke of the legislative armour government, yeah. which uh, we f saw was filled with a bunch of hooligans who were fighting each other, not yeah. making law. Uh, and we also spoke of the judicial armor government, the yeah. people's sovereign power, where the delays have to be. We, can we also talk of the executive armor government? Yeah. Uh, His Excellency is the President Farage, yeah. uh, who referred that question to the Supreme Court, yeah. where we appeared, uh, we appeared in favor of a five-year term, mm. where the Honorable Attorney General of the country came and actually argued for six years. Yeah. So one good principle, something now we, I, we must also always criticize. No, we must. Uh, no, we look must at call a, a spade yeah, a spade. Call a spade a spade. One good thing I have seen since our struggles in 2005 January of this so-called good governance regime is, I think, day before yesterday with that, uh, with that reference of His Excellency, mm. we managed to establish that at least the executive armor government and judicial armor government, your sovereign power, was working properly. Why? We were a sitting president. Remember, we are now looking at a bare context of where one sitting president previously uh, tried to Im influence the judiciary, tried to influence the attorney generals, mm. calling them to their residences, yes. tried to impeach the chief justice, sitting chief justice. With, with, in all that backdrop, here is a sitting president who wants to serve for six years and can, says, can you please clarify it, which he was duly entitled to do. Under the constitution, a president has a question yeah. of law, he can verify it. The, the judiciary. We must, we must come in the judiciary. When the chief law officer of the state, remember, Attorney General was opposed to us. Attorney General was saying no six years. But the, the, the five judges unanimously held, no, the constitution was clear. It says five years and five years stands. Now that, I think the people should be happy that the independence of the judiciary at least was restored to a great extent by that decision. And not to be outdone, the President himself said that he will stand absolutely, by and I commend His Excellency for doing absolutely. That. That's the point. And that, is, and that is remember because the Supreme Court also our, our written submissions. If someone reads it carefully, to yeah. that we tendered yeah. that it's a people that are sovereign in this country, and that's what was shown. The president also serves at the will of the people. Yeah. The judiciary also serves the sovereign judicial power of the people. Now the people have shown that we are much more powerful than these three organs of government. One organ of government says, can I say for six years? Another says, no, the people have will it to be fine. And that is, that's what, and, and therefore, democracy has been re-established and good governance 
at least to semblance, semblance where the judicial power of the people is concerned has been re-established and I congratulate both arms of government, His Excellency the President for following the ruling and, and, and the judiciary for giving that ruling uh, strictly in terms of the law. And uh, actually uh, the, the wider thing here is that uh, uh, greater intense public debate is now possible. We must we must acknowledge that. Absolutely, absolutely. And public, yeah, so we have been saying that. No. Yeah. But remember, just because uh, the normal semblances of democratic society have been established, that is, that, that credit doesn't go to a government. That's right. There were people like you and me, normal, ordinary citizens out there who made that change in January, and therefore a government can't come and say, well, we have established democracy for you. The people established democracy for ourselves. We spoke in the silent revolution of January and we established it. And some, at, remember what us at great peril, some of us couldn't stay at home on the night of the election no, because yes. we were warned not to stay at home. Because, because some people had some list made out saying, if we win, we'll give you all. Mm. You know, but we had to go hiding with our little children uh, to, to hotels and uh, stay when some people advised us to but go the, overseas. The, the president himself had, uh, had to go and seek refuge in some sort of... Absolutely, in a, in a friend's somewhere. estate somewhere. That's right. Yeah, so so this was not one at any, any uh, big man of a it political it party. It was a cakewalk. It, it, the people shouted in a very silent revolution and said, we want a change. The, we, the we people want of this country is simply the best. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But now simply I say best. take that sovereign power back into your hand. That's what I'm at pains to say. Now then, I, I, want, to, see, yeah, I, I want to read this, uh, this question out uh, because it comes from Nurelia. So, you know, the people who watch this channel are far and wide. Um, and so, it's so very good. And it says, good morning. Uh, thank you and TV One channel, the TV One channel team. I've been watching your program about the bond scam, but so far it appears that no action will be taken against the culprits. Uh, the main man is absconding, apparently in Singapore. Will justice be done? Uh, Mr. XXX uh, from Norelia. Yeah, well, justice will be done if the authorities uh, now uh, follow up. And uh, you see, the, the, the laws are very clear. You can't violate a law of a country and hide in some other country. We have uh, sufficient uh, intra-government, inter-government, uh, multilateral, bilateral treaties with other governments where if you, if you are convicted or if you, want, if you are needed for trial, uh, one can be arrested and sent back. So, so you can't hide in countries and wait anymore. This is not 1940s. Mm. We are living in 2018. So if, if the authorities so want... So have faith, Mr. Person yeah. from Norelia. Well, don't, don't have... I, I'm not saying have faith. If the system wants to prosecute, they will. As to whether they want to is something that you need to follow up and make sure that they do. Thank you. We've got two, uh, three minutes. Sri Lankan Airlines. Sri Lankan Airlines. What do you? What's yeah. your take on Sri Lankan Airlines? Sri Lankan Airlines. Do we need this blessed thing yes. to be? To be For us, uh, I don't know whether you know or not. Uh, during my university days, I, I just after being asked to leave school at the time at eighteen till I was twenty-eight, I was a member of Sri Lankan Airlines. I oh. flew. I flew in the crew, oh. and that's how. Yes, while I was in university and my finishing my law education, I was. I was. Is a that member how you pay for your law education? <laughs> Very well, good. Yeah, well, anyway, the point I'm trying to make is. We had only four aircraft, two of them, one of the oldest in the Lockheed TriStar range. Oh, yeah. But with the four aircraft, was we kept Air that Lanka, lion then? flag, Air Lanka, then I was also part of the transition in Sri Lanka. And, and I, so I have been an employee. Thereafter, as a lawyer, I have been fighting in courtrooms to keep uh, some of the employee rights in Sri Lankan yeah. airlines. And thereafter, now as a shareholder of Sri Lankan, we got some shares and he left. I have an interest in this airline. We, we had a national carrier, we flew that flag, land flag, very high. Mm -hmm. And we were proud to do that. Yeah. But over over time, over those, all those years, people have been squandering money off it. Free air travel, all these uh, politicas that we were yes, talking of. Yes. You know, and there was only one time, that I'm, what I'm trying to say is, if we wanted to show profit, we can. There was a very top corporate man right. who took on the tenure for a little, very short while. But he only came with one condition. And at the time, it was uh, Her Excellency Chandrika Kumar mm -hmm. said, Madam, I will not answer to anyone else but to you. Don't tell the ministers to ask me questions at free air travel and all that. As he came, he sent bills to all the top, uh, all the politicians who have been traveling on Sri Lanka. Say, pay up. Do what you owe us. The, sa and the same person also wanted to know what <laughs> they did with the used old newspaper. Absolutely. So I'm trying to tell you. And, and you know, that's the only time. As I said, 10 years I was an employee. That's the only time I got two bonuses. 
one in April, one in December, and he showed profit. So that what I'm trying to say is, if the right, not if you put your classmate as a chairman and some uh, old party hierarchy man's brother as a CEO and all that, mm. but if you actually want to put the right people on that board, professional, professional people, you can show profit. And this is an island nation. We thrive on our tourism. Mm. If anyone is saying that a national carrier of island nation, blue water shining eyes, Sri Lanka paradise. I mean, if someone is saying that we can't make profit, that person is a fool. If someone must run this airline properly and we can show profit. Thank you, Krish Mahalwar and uh, Since we are at the end of this uh, eventful morning, you know, half an hour's up, I'm going to end up with this saying, uh, saying from Eleanor Roosevelt. To handle yourself, use your head. To handle others, use your heart. On that note, that's all there was from Newsline on this Wednesday, the 17th of January, 2018. Take care and God bless. Thanks for us. News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali.